Hi, I'm West, and I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about Game 79 of the regular season. This season is flying by. Astros lose. 9-7 to the Orioles. They are 2-3 two and f- two and three over their last f- five. Um, and those losses have come to the Tigers, the Tigers, and the Orioles, who are cellar dwellers. There's no other way to put it. Bad teams, um, and they have completely underachieved this past couple days. What do you want to talk about? The offense was too little too late. Uh, Most of the offense was bases loaded walks, actually. It was bad. It was a real bad night for the Astros. It was horrifically bad, if I'm being honest with you, right? Um, Not a great night pitching. Bad night for pitching. The offense was decent, but... I'm not even happy with the offense, if I'm being honest with you. Because this is... You go 2 for 13 with runners in scoring position. I I understand that you still scored 7 runs. But... I mean, come on. You you just gotta do better than that. I understand. 7 runs. That's neat. That's all well and good. 2 for 13 with runners in scoring position. 13 men left on base. That's just bad, right? That's just bad. Yeah, they gave you free passes for runs. It doesn't matter. That's just bad. So the scoring tonight. Ryan Mountcastle, Montcastle, uh, hit a line drive, single in the third inning. Gave the Orioles a one nothing lead. The Astros would respond. Kyle Tucker would get a sack fly. You're not would score. Uh, Altuve would actually walk with the bases loaded. Give him a lead. Make it 2-1. Again, most of the offense was bases loaded walks. Uh, Mountcastle would actually then hit a home run a little bit later on in the fifth. Make it 3-2. In the seventh, just some weirdness. Uh, a force out play, but he would still... Or else would still drive home a run. Make it 4-2. The Astros actually would start to do stuff. Uh, a Kyle Tucker bases loaded walk would make it 4-3. A Miles Straw bases loaded walk would make it 4-4. Uh, then in the ninth, the Orioles cracked it wide open. Uh, Austin Hayes would homer, make it 6-4. Uh, Pedro Severino would double to make it 8-4. to four. And uh, Roman Urea, Urias, probably mispronouncing that, I'm sorry, would double to make it 9-4. Now, the Astros finally would start to actually put up some offense in the bottom half of the ninth. They'd score three runs, right? Uh, ninth inning for the Astros. You know, they, they tried. Uh, Jordan struck out uh, looking. Uh, Gray would get hit by a pitch on the kneecap. I... This is probably the best player on the team right now. Uh, seemingly going down with injury. That's that's great. Hopefully it's just the game. But that's not a good place to get hit. Speaking of positive things, you see the Astros have seven finalists for the All-Star game. That's pretty cool. You guys should go vote for them. Uh, Gray gets hit by a pitch. Then... Uh, Kyle Tucker would single. Miles Straw would single. And would make it a 9-5 game. And at that point, I did the dumbest thing you can do with a sports fan when it's a game that's pretty far out of reach. And I started to get hope. I mean, like, well, it's not completely out of the question. Maybe they can come back. Then, to continue driving that stake into my heart, Rebel Garcia singles. 9-6. Pitching change. They bring in another guy. Castro. Pinch hits. A good call by Dusty Baker there. And he walks to load the bases to give Jose Altuve another walk-off Grand Slam opportunity. And Altuve, by God, he didn't miss it, but by a few feet. Ten more feet, and it's a home run. It's, we're heading home. At the very least, probably a tie game if it's off the wall. Ugh, sack fly by Altuve. Just barely missing it. Made it 9-7. And Michael Brantley would uh, fly out and do short. I thought it was more of a pop-up into shallow left field. And it just bites, man. We were close. We were so close. Now, the offense, again, you scored seven runs. That's a positive. However, the two for 13 with runners in scoring position and 13 men left on is not good enough. That is not acceptable. You know, I, I get, I get, 
right? The, oh, well, but Weston, the, the, the pitching allowed nine runs. I get that. If you're, oh, I don't know, four for 13, like at least just meh. If you're not, not even asking you to be great. If you're just meh with runners in scoring position, it's a, probably a tie game, probably go to the 10th. But no, two for 13 with 13 men left on base. 13 men left on base. And that isn't going to win much. It was bad. The pitching, granted, was not good. Granky was fine. He wasn't good. He wasn't bad. Uh, five innings of work, eight hits, three runs, a walk, and four strikeouts. Again, he wasn't good. He wasn't terrible. He was fine. Uh, Scrub came in. He had a good inning. Gave up a walk, but struck out a guy. Didn't allow any hits or runs. Blake Taylor uh, had a bit of a rough evening. Uh, gave up a pair of hits. Gave up a run, a walk. Struck out a couple of guys, but a bit mixed. Brandon Belak just got abused. I don't know why Dusty Baker continually sends Brandon Belak out to the mound to be slaughtered. Uh, another rough one. One in the third innings. Four hits. Five earned runs. A walk and three strikeouts. Again, I you got to stop putting him out there, man. Because he's just getting batted around like a pinata. And Garza Jr. goes in. Two-thirds of an inning. Gives up a hit, but that's it. And that was it for the Astros. They went up a guy against Eshelman, who rolled in. And granted, they knocked him out kind of early, but... Again, going into this game, I believe he had an above-7 ERA, and they couldn't put more than two runs on him. Again, I can't emphasize it enough. Two for 13 with runners in scoring position. And the reason this game sucks, the reason the two against the Tigers sucked, is this is just a... These are bad teams, right? And I want to emphasize, when I say bad teams, when I say bad players, I mean in the realm of the league. Obviously, all of these guys would run circles around me on a softball field, right? I understand that. But this is a team that, among all the other teams in Major League Baseball, is horrible. They're a cellar dweller. These are, and again, I understand that nothing in life is a sure thing, these are more or less free wins that you should be picking up, that you should be able to to toss into the win column. But instead, you lost yesterday to the Tigers, and you lost today to the Orioles. You lost Saturday to the Tigers. Granted, you won the other one. But with the win and the loss and the doubleheader, you basically just spun your tires for afternoon. And it's kind of rough. Again, I'm not going to say it much longer because it's starting to get to the point where it doesn't matter. The 11-game win streak helped, but now it's getting to the point where, yes, you did win 11 straight. However, now, after the 11 straight, you are, I think, one for three since the doubleheader, which is not cutting it. It's just not cutting it. I'm sorry. There's no other way to put it. It's not. I Again, no, there's no such thing as a free win, but these are as close as you can get. And you're not taking advantage of them. You're not taking advantage of bad pitchers. You're not taking advantage of bad teams. So we play again tomorrow. It's going to be at 8-10 Eastern, 7-10 Central. We're going to have your Kitty. They have not announced a starter. Your Kitty rolls in with a very good 3.32 ERA. And we should win that game. We have to win that game. Because we cannot lose this series. And we should be able to win Wednesday. Because they're going to have Matt Harvey out on the mound. Which is uh, a bit rough. So that's it. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Strohs.